Jack Bodell for the British and Commonwealth titles. My guest Henry Cooper first met Jack Bodell in 1967. Now Henry is defending his Commonwealth title, Bodell his British title. It's March 1970 and a packed Wembley house. We join it in round six. Most of the predictions for this fight indicated that Cooper would probably win inside six rounds. And the general opinion is that if it gets beyond six, then it might begin to swing Bodell's way. Well, here we are in the sixth. some blood floating around Cooper's left eye above the eye and it looks to me as though that flesh around the left eye of Cooper's which has been cut so often is beginning to come apart and he has he's got a cut uh, a diagonal almost vertical cut above the left eye towards the nose now round six and Cooper is in trouble with these cuts they're not bad at the moment but they threaten to get a lot worse If ever he needed that left hook, he needs it right now. Well, there'll be a little bit of repair work done by Eddie Thomas now. There's a cut above the eye you see on the left-hand side. It's the one that Ed is applying the towel to now. And there's also a little nick on the left-hand side of the eye. Over on the, more towards the side of the face. And Henry's face now well greased around the left eye. Bodell is unmarked. Bodell has fought a very canny fight so far, keeping the thing at long range, pumping out his right hand, moving away from the left hook, and obviously intent on taking Cooper the distance. The eye no worse. be very unwise. He's come straight up Bodell. This is Cooper's big chance. Tremendous left into the head. And Bodell's down for the second time. He took a punch but he was also pushed. And he gets up again and he doesn't want to count. And now Bodell is in real trouble and the title is slipping away from him. Twice Bodell had a chance to take a rest and twice he refused it. Pride got him up early. got trouble on his face well let's hear now what Henry Cooper himself felt about that first knockdown in the corner I was having a bit of trouble with my breathing because I've had this cold for about five days I think this you know 
I didn't box as well as I could have done. But there you can see me going into him, having a belt him with the body there, and I thought, you know, I was reaching him fairly easy with the left hand, you'll see, over ease, and there was a good left hook where, and once I felt him go, well, I thought, well, well, this is the start. And everything is still in the balance. feel that the further it goes, the better Bodo's chances must become. two rounds there in which Cooper's not done too well and the marks of battle now very clear indeed on both their faces George Smith tells them to cut out the mauling Cooper has several little cuts around the left eye Bodo's right eye looks a little bit marked on the right hand side and he's got a cut now underneath the left eye hook inside and once again Bodo jumps up quickly he doesn't want to come but he was hurt 12 so there is still some potency in that left hook of Cooper's beautifully timed that one it didn't look a big punch but it had tremendous effect catches him with a swinging left hand. Three times now Bodell's been down. And this is equaling up the difference between them in age. in as Bodell walks in 
He took it full on the mouth. Henry is dredging up the very last bits of stamina in this fight. He went for the kill there and it didn't quite come off. It was a left swing by Bodell, landed low. And George Smith gives him a real ticking off about it while Cooper gets his breath back. Well, Henry, the, Harry talks about uh, Henry's hammer there. Where did that originate from? I'm not sure who, who nicknamed it. I think one of the writers nicknamed it. I think it was either um, or from the Express guy. I can't think of his name now. Or George Whiting, it could have been. It was a toss-up between those two. One, the Daily Express writer and George Whiting. But they nicknamed it, nicknamed it Henry Zammer for some reason, so it stuck ever since. And he was also concerned about the fact that you hadn't sort of gone into these late rounds for almost a decade. Were you concerned? Not stage. really, no, no, I still, you know, I mean, uh, he was a big, awkward sort of guy, and I just felt it's just a matter of getting this guy clean, you know, it was because he was a, like a, he was a spoiler, big Jack, you know, he was a great, he was a bigger guy, you know, he was, I say, not taller, but he was about, I think, you know, for half a good, half a stone, stone heavier than me then, but uh, he was just awkward, you know, he stamped on your feet, he needs you in the shins, and, and it was just about me just, like, picking clean shots and trying to get him clean all the time, yeah. Bodell's right eye is beginning to shut. And Cooper is going to win his title back. An astonishing achievement this will be. Half a minute. Bodell's still gamely fighting back. They've put it all into this fight. Ten seconds to go. And you listen to this crowd when this is over. There's the bell. The end of that British heavyweight championship fight. And it's Cooper, Henry Cooper, has got the British title back. And the whole of Wembley is jumping to its feet. That is a really remarkable performance by the 35-year-old Henry Cooper, the first man since Len Harvey to regain the British heavyweight crown. The title he threw back at the British board last year and has fought over 15 bitter rounds tonight to win a fully deserved victory, putting Bodell on the floor three times and coming up with this remarkable win over 15 rounds, a way we didn't think he could win it. But he's done it again. Henry Cooper, a living legend in British boxing. Henry, have you got the breath left to talk to me? Just about, Harry. Congratulations. That really was a remarkable performance. Oh, not bad for an old man, is it? Not bad at all. Did you think uh, early on that you were going to have to go 15 rounds with us? I had a sneaky feeling after a few rounds. I, well, I was catching him, but I was, just wasn't catching him clean somehow, you know. You had a good fourth round, you remember that? Yeah, yeah, when he went down. Huh? Yeah, did you think at that stage that you might get it over quickly then? <coughs> well, he seemed to get up and he uh, recovered pretty quick, so I thought, you know, perhaps he would have a G The thing I found really remarkable was that towards the end, you were very much stronger than he was. Well, you know, the old left hand was working well. You said you would be able to go 15 rounds well, and you, you certainly did it. Yeah, thank you, Ash. Henry Cooper, champion again, almost at the age of 36.
I don't expect to see a man do this again in my lifetime. That must have been very